Welcome to the presentation on 7-step guide to developing online product training. What is product training? Product training through e-learning offers a wonderful opportunity to enrich sales training programs with simulated product presentations and product walkthrough in various selling situations. Who needs product training? Various industries such as petroleum, power tools, software, financial services, metals and minerals, farms and agriculture etc. avail of e-learning courses for product training. Financial services, farms and agriculture, metals and minerals. Why product training? Taking product training online ensures that your employees train at their convenience and during off-peak hours. Learn at their own pace, revisiting those modules that are difficult and skipping those that are easy. Revisit the courses to clarify doubts or for reinforcement of knowledge when required. 7 Simple Steps to Develop Online Product Training Understand the target audience for product training. The first step is to understand the target audience for product training. In this step, curriculum developers must first answer the question, for who am I developing the product training course and why? Before collating the content for product training. Know and understand the profile of your target audience. If you know the learning objectives of the diverse audience, content for the product training course can be chunked into independent learning objects. Here is typically what different audiences aspire to achieve at the end of a product training course. These are termed as performance goals. Technician I would like to fix problems quickly. Customer service executive I need to guide customers troubleshoot minor. Channel partners I need to know the price structure and discount mechanism for the product. Customer I need to quickly get an idea about how I should use the product, so that I know the do's and don'ts. Sales executive tell me how best the product can be positioned through its features, advantages and benefits. If you notice, each of the audience mentioned above is talking of the same product but that their objectives are different. Understand the performance goals at the end of the course. It is important to educate three different types of audiences about products. Sales and marketing personnel would need product knowledge to showcase the product in an appealing manner to prospective customers by telling them how the product will help them avoid potential problems. The service personnel will be dealing with existing customers who have already purchased the product and need help in either troubleshooting or repairing it. Customers need to know the correct method of handling the equipment so that they get the maximum benefit from the product. Build instructional goals keeping in mind learning objectives and performance goals. Some of the basic factors that to consider when developing the course. A good product knowledge instills a sense of confidence in your audiences to do their jobs. Clarity and clear differentiation of products in the product line can be a selling point or a unique selling proposition. Sales personnel must be capable of explaining to the end users about the facts in layperson's terms. When designing courses for product training, you need to keep in mind the multiple competencies for a fuller learning profile. Know and understand the key instructional goals for the course being developed. Choose an authoring tool that fits your needs. Online product training is a viable solution for the purpose. 
In order to develop these courses you need to choose one of the several rapid authoring tools available in the market. Authoring tools should be easy to use for a person with non-technical background. Authoring tools should facilitate easy translation of courses into multiple languages, without need for array work and duplication of effort. Authoring tools should be able to develop SCORM compliant courses, so that they can be tracked and monitored on the learning management system. It also provides users the information about the completion status of the courses assigned to them. Here is a sample logical course structure for product knowledge training that will help you develop quick product knowledge training for your target audiences. Introduce the product and present key functions of the product that will benefit the end user. Knowing the features and advantages helps them speak confidently while interacting with various stakeholders about their products. Select a course strategy that best caters to the needs of learners. Content for product training courses are primarily of three types. What the product is all about, its features, specifications and accessories required, etc. This information is typically included in product disclosures. How information states the given product fits into the product portfolio. You can also include the target segment for the product if different from other products in the portfolio. Why information refers to product messaging. It includes information that is necessary for convincing a customer to buy the product. Focus needs to be on key benefits that a customer gets from using the product. Let's recap. E-learning through various delivery methods meets these changing requirements of product training. It needs to be designed carefully keeping in mind the profile of the target audience, their learning objectives and performance goals. The content and design strategy of the course will need to be developed keeping in mind the instructional goals, audience requirements, and ultimate objective of the course delivery. To download the ebook on 7-step guide to developing online product training, please click the provided link. To read more such slide shares, please visit www.comlabindia.com. Thank you.